Ed Orgeron was asked on a newscast down in Louisiana. Uh, somebody had a bad nightmare that he went and joined Alabama staff as part of like the rehabilitation thing that Nick Saban does. And Ed Orgeron would be recruiting in Louisiana against LSU for Alabama. And that was somebody's worst nightmare. And Orgeron basically told him right off the bat, said, you don't have to worry about that. That ain't going to happen. Like, that is not going to happen. Now, there's a part of you that says never say never, but if there was anybody that would refuse to take a job at Alabama under Nick Saban, I think it's Ed Orgeron. I, I, Ed Orgeron yeah. is not some young guy that needs to be rehabilitated. He has had multiple opportunities. He has done amazing and crazy things. I Would you be surprised if Ed Orgeron just doesn't coach anymore? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I, I, think, think, so I think that's probably what he's going to do. I think he's not going to coach anymore. I, I think he likes being Ed Orgeron. I think so, too. I think so, too. And he too. lives in a world where he can make a living now just being Ed Orgeron if he can stay out of trouble. Yeah. Or yeah. get in some trouble. It, it, that, that's fine, too. <laughs> Shit, that's fine. It that's doesn't matter. If, if you're not employed by a school, it really doesn't matter. Like, just go do what you want to do. No, I, I loved the honesty I loved it. He was not politically correct with it. You know, well, uh, you know, I'd have to listen to whatever. I, none of that. It was very quick. Like, no, I'm not going to work at Alabama. Like, that's insane. So I love, I love that there are still people to do that. I love Ed. I love Ed. And what he gave me in 2019, no one has ever given me in my life. And and, and I love him. I, I would not be afraid of Ed Orgeron recruit. I would not be afraid of anybody on the planet recruiting against this staff at LSU in Louisiana. I agree. That, that doesn't mean they're going to get a hundred percent of them, but I promise you that n- nobody's coming in and just taking anybody they want from that state ever again. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. And so, finally, so while I love Ed, that, that 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 wouldn't scare me. I wouldn't like it, but that wouldn't scare me. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. So my finally. only dream of that, I know you want to get out of here. I know you want to get <laughs> to the thing. My only dream of that would be Nick giving him one of them ass chewing that he used to give Lane and oh, yeah. forgetting that Ed Orgeron's a grown ass man <laughs> and on national television to see Ed Orgeron just knock that 70 year old son of a bitch out <laughs> on national TV and just walking the hell off. Yes. Yes. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, It would be very entertaining, to say the least. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.